Welcome to my messy ooh, <laughs> art studio. And I should clean that, huh? Yeah, but I'll do it after this video. Uh, today we are going to be inspired by these books. I got these as a gift from one of my favorite people in Milwaukee, Leslie Fedorchik. Hey, I've learned a lot from her. And so I am going to teach you a couple of things that I have learned from these books. We are going to be making pop-ups. We are going to talk about animal habitat. So, excuse me. Ooh. Do, 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 do. All right, a habitat is where an animal lives and the habitat has food, water, shelter, space, everything that the animal needs in order to survive. Different kinds of habitats are forests, wetlands, oceans, desert, arctic, and the rainforest. So you're going to choose an animal where you're going to create the animal and their habitat. And how we're gonna do that is with a pop-up. And I'm gonna show you how to make a few pop-ups. So first, decide what animal you're going to do. Is it going to be a little duckling? Maybe a giraffe? What else do I have here? I have a tiger. If you have an animal at home to draw little toys or something to draw from, go ahead and do that because you know how important it is to draw from life. And so go ahead and think of your animal and also what is in your habitat. I'm going to start with showing you the most simple of pop-ups. You're going to need two papers. So you're going to take your paper, you're going to fold it in half, make the crease, and you're going to need a straight edge or a ruler if you have it. And you're going to measure. Let's see this one. I'm going to make an inch. So I'm going to put a dot at the zero and a dot at the one. And I want it to be half an inch. My paper is super tiny. Yours will probably be about two inches. So I have my little guide there. And and draw my line connecting. So you see I have my two lines. If I pick it up, it's like a little tent. So I have my two lines, and that is where I'm going to make my cut. And I'm going to fold it. You can use a marker so you can flatten that crease. Here's a little tricky part. Now you have to fold it into each other. I would crease again. And here is our little pop-up. So I can either pop up this way or pop up this way. And the reason that we need another sheet of paper is because that just can't be your piece like this. So you would take, whoop, I lost my paper. You would take your paper, your second page, fold it, crease it. And now it's together. So you would glue right here and right here. And I'm gonna show you these other pop-ups that you can also do. So you can come back to the video and pause so that you can see. So the red, the pink lines is where you would make the cut and this is the shape that you would have. So there's this kind. This one's fun, because you could have several. This one here can open up this way or this way. And here again is the one that we just made. 
this one's a little more complicated. And we have this one. Which opens like this. So these are all the different kinds of pop-ups. But you basically need any kind of pop-up that you choose. And then what you're going to do is you would draw your figure. So let's say that here's mine. I'm making a little... Uh, this is a little cat. So what I would do is then I would color it and everything. You're going to cut it out. You're going to need glue too. So you're going to take your glue put a little glue on the back and you would glue it right there so that when your card folds it's there and it opens to your animal so I'm going to show you mine and then you can make up your own so decide which kind of pop-up you're gonna do I'm gonna do the triangle one because I'm gonna make my animal pop out so you can add all the little details, I'm going to add ears, and I'm going to add movement to my work by adding this grass so that it's swaying. When you finish, please take a photo and upload to Class Dojo or tag me on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget about the art contest going on the Aldine webpage. Happy art making!